Hi, I'm John, and we have some breaking news. Attention seniors, there will be a meeting on Wednesday, March 29th in room 1219 after school to discuss the senior class trip to Fiesta, Texas. Anyone interested in going must attend this meeting or see Miss Youngblood in room 1418 before then. For all students, tryouts for Rayburn's God Talent will be Friday, March 31st after school in the auditorium. You can pick up an information sheet in the cafeteria. Anyone who would like to participate that cannot attend tryouts should see Miss Youngblood in room 1418. Now let's take it to our anchors, Michaela and Alyssa. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alyssa Harkins. And I'm Michaela. And welcome back to Planet Rayburn. Let's get to some announcements. Students, did you know there's only one math star test in high school? Pass the algebra star test on May 1st and you'll be done with all your math stars. Are you doing what it takes to be one and done? There are a few exciting organizations in Sam Rayburn High School. Today we have Alan to get us a scoop on what cheer is all about. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alan and I'm here to give you information about cheer here at Sam Rayburn High School. Hi, hi, my name's Syra and I'm the varsity cheer captain and I joined cheer uh, because I was in cheer in eighth grade and then I saw them whenever we came to Rayburn I saw them here and I wanted to join. It was fun at the football games trying to get the whole fans and like cheering with us and like cheering on our sports all of our players and um, also I really enjoy the Hi, my name is Haley. I'm one of the two co-captains on the team, and I love cheer because I've been, it, been in it since I was nine. And one thing I love about cheer is that I love football season, and I love football in general, so it just makes it that much better. Basically, cheer is an opportunity to not only support our athletic teams on campus, but also be a leader on campus, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom. Um, cheer is a great way, I mean I know from personal experience uh, growing up I was extremely painfully shy and cheer helped me um, become able to deal with being in the public eye. Um, that's partly the reason that I enjoy coaching it. Um, it's a great group of young ladies and gentlemen and it's a great place for you to kind of find a family to be a part of, their friends, and they just like to make the campus a better place. Cheer is open to all grade levels, it has competitions in the spring, and it has two teams called JV and Varsity. Well, you heard it here first, guys. Come support Cheer here at Sam Rayburn. I'm Alan. Let's get back to the studio. Thank you, Alan. We here at Planet Rayburn like to show a spotlight on some of our accomplished students, and today we can do that by bringing you Timothy's student success story on Zyda Hinojosa. Zeta, a girl who makes it all come together. Zeta is the kind of student who works hard and keeps a positive tone while doing it. She has recently earned a scholarship to the University of Texas at Rio Grande, where she plans to go to school. She won a total of $5,000 due to her high grade and GPA. She always remains on top of her grades and maintains a strong grasp on her goal in the medical field as a child surgeon. She's got her whole life planned ahead of her, but even despite this, she never forgets the importance of her friends. If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? A million dollars for me? A million dollars. Well, um, i give it to my parents. You'd give it all away? <laughs> yeah. One million of them. One oh, million. Probably keep a dollar. <laughs> As you could tell, she is very selfless, the kind of person who puts other people before her. She still, however, maintains a personal life and a strong, successful academic life, but that's not all there is to her. She has a love for Mexican music and alternative rock. She's very open-minded and very goal-orientated. I'm already planning on my, how to, where to live, a couple months, I don't know, we're gonna graduate, and I can't wait to go to school. She looks forward to going back to school so she can start laying the foundations to her future she worked so hard to get to. She's really excited for the future she has in mind for herself. It has always been her goal to be a surgeon and she works hard every day to accomplish this. Her dream of being a surgeon is just ahead of her and we can all learn something valuable about her kindness and determination. With that said and done, thank you and see you back in the studio. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. That's it? That's it. That's okay. all we have. All right. Turn on both cameras. Bye. Ah. <laughs> Great job, Timothy. Attention seniors. Who has the best eyes? Who is most likely to be a celebrity? 
But before April 21st, use the QR code to submit your answers. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the lucky winner. Are you, are you musically interested in taking on the challenge of playing a stringed instrument? We sent Christian to send to get you some valuable information on our outstanding orchestra program. So let's slide in and see what's going on. Hello guys, I'm Christian Garcia from Planet Rayburn. I'll be showing you orchestra and... I'll be interviewing the students and the teacher to see what makes orchestra beautiful. I joined orchestra because I had a cousin who played the violin and I always wanted to be like her when I grew up and I am doing it now. Uh, what I like about orchestra is that I get to uh, meet new people and we go on trips that are really fun too. I recommend orchestra because it's really fun and it teaches you a lot of things that you never thought you would learn. I joined orchestra due to the excitement of the music and it lets me relieve all my emotions. I joined that sometimes you can get out of class due to you being eligible and you can have fun with other people. I recommend orchestra due to being really fun and you get to join with other people that are just like you and we have lock-ins and all, all types of fun stuff. Okay. I joined orchestra because I wanted to learn something new, I wanted to learn a new instrument, I was interested in how it was going to sound like. What I enjoy about orchestra is that we work together to make the music sound better. You know, there's different sections and that makes it sound better as a group together because without one of them, we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't be the same. I recommend orchestra because you get to try new things, you know, and orchestra is one of them because I know not a lot of people like it, but you know, it's, it's something that you can try, you know, you can try new things and orchestra can be one of them. In the regular orchestra class, there's 40 students in total. There's 20 violins, 9 violas, 9 cellos, and 2 basses. There are UILs in the second week of March before the spring break. Please support our orchestra. Well, as you can see, orchestra is a really good extracurricular activity. If you would like to join, talk to your counselor about your schedule. This is Christian Castillo, signing out. Thank you very much, Christian. We'll be offering our annual pre-participation physicals on Wednesday, March 29th from 10.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the new competition gym. All athletes and band members must have a new physical every year in order to participate. The cost is $20 per physical and may be paid on the day of or pre prepaid to Ms. Rivas or Ms. Rivera or Mr. Beltran in the athletic training room. Teachers, please send announcements to planetraver.com if you want them to air. And if you missed out on this year's musical, Anything Goes, there will be a DVD produced, being produced by us for $15. If you would like a copy, please come see Mr. Henson in room 1424. Seniors, remember to vote for me. <laughs> well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Melissa Harkins. And I'm Michaela. And we will see you next time for the next Planet Rayburn. And remember, stay true to the blue. blue.